Hey out there, happy Monday. So I'm at a house that we have in Hazlitt. It's a small little house. Um, I think it's like 900 square feet. I'm gonna call it the cottage house. Sounds so quaint. So we had this house for, I don't know, a couple of years now. And we had a tenant in it for over a year, a single mom. And she gave me notice a couple of weeks ago saying she had a job offer down in Florida and her and her daughter were gonna be moving down there. Now, typically on a rental, I, I always have my, my lease agreements written up from my lawyer. This way, if I ever have to go back and get the tenant out of the house, he wrote the lease up for me and he's, and he's familiar with it. So on a typical lease that I write up, after a year goes by, because all my rental agreements are for a year, then you go to a month to month basis. The lease still applies, the rules and everything else, but you now go to a month to month, so you don't have to sign another lease. Moving forward, I don't know if I'll, I'll continue to do that, but it seems to, to work out for me. On this kind of a situation, if I want to get the tenant out, then I give them 30 days notice. Hey, listen, I'm going to be selling the house, or I just want the house back, or whatever. And in return, the tenant has to do the same thing for me in order to get the, uh, the security deposit back, one and a half months security. So... We don't, we don't nitpick like that. Like here's a single mother that, that's been paying the rent on time for over a year. If she doesn't give me the 30 days notice, am I gonna penalize her? Am I gonna, no. So let's see what the, the house looks like because before I say that, let's see how she left the house. So when you walk in, you walk into a little foyer area and this is the living area. It's nice, a little gas burning stove over there, brick backing, it's got some nice little features. And you walk right up into the little eat-in dining room or eat-in kitchen area. And then you go over to the kitchen. So this was just renovated about, uh, I'd have to look at my records, but somewhere around a year, year and a half ago. And like I said, it's small, but it's clean. And I got to tell you, I'm impressed on how she left this place. I got to do a couple little things here or there. Maybe touch up some paint, replace some light bulbs and blinds, but... Oh, I even put granite in here. I, I just think granite is, uh, is here to stay. It's hard to damage and uh, just adds value. So this is another view from the uh, other side of the kitchen. And yeah, you have your, your washer and dryer here, which isn't the best. There's really no place else to put the washer and dryer. I could put it in this little room. I'm going to show you in a second. But it just made sense in this house. The washer and dryer went there. So we walk over and... I'm going, to price, I'm going to put this house on the market. What I'm going to market this room as, I think I'm going to put a little desk over here for people that want to uh, work during this pandemic from the house. It would be a great little area to put a desk in. Come over here. Now there's a small bathroom right here to the right. Yeah, everything's small. However, the price I'm going to put it on the market for is also going to be pretty small, especially in this market. You come back here. Got a little bedroom back here. Got to replace that light bulb, little closet area, window over here. And you come over here, and a little painting touch up over here. You got a closet over here with the water heater back there. And then this would be the bigger of the two bedrooms. Now, I'm not in a bind to, to have to sell this house, which kind of puts, from experience, puts me in a better position when I go to market it. I'm not a big fan of uh, like tire kicker buyers or uh, people that really nitpick. So what I do is I price the property um, fair. And then if it doesn't sell in a couple of weeks, I'll just, I'll rent it back out. It's, it's a great little rental. And also I'm going to mark, when I go to market it to sell it, there's a lot next door to this property that the town eventually told me that they would sell it to me. For, for a modest amount of money. You gotta combine the two lots, but there's a lot of potential here. Somebody could come in, move in as is, or they can have intentions of either knocking this place down and building a big one on the, uh, the com combined lots. There's a multitude of different things that someone could do with this. For me, I wanna sell it now. It's a seller's market. I wanna maybe get out of this place and make a couple extra bucks than I would have if it wasn't a seller's market and then take that cash and, uh, and move on to something else. So I'll be marketing this house within the week.